Hello! In this video, we are going to talk about clipping circuits. And clipping circuits also limit the maximum and or minimum level of a voltage signal, uh, but they do it by simply clipping uh, or flattening the signal uh, for values that will exceed that maximum or minimum limit. And so an example of that is uh, shown in here where I have a sinusoidal input signal. And let's imagine that I wanted to establish uh, uh, two limits, which I can label VA and VB my upper and lower limit. And basically, in between those limits, the input signal will be unaltered. But then once it reaches um, one of those values, um, it, if it, the input signal continues to increase beyond those values, the output will just stay flat at those values. And so it alters the shape of the signal, which is different from the clamping circuits. Uh, there are uh, passive versions of the clipping circuit. There are multiple of them, in fact. Uh, here are some of the most common ones. Basically, it consists of a resistor in series with a diode, and depending on the uh, location, uh, or rather the orientation of the diode, uh, we are going to have clipping of the signal at different levels. So in the first case, for example, we can see that when the values of V in are positive and exceed 0.7 volts, that diode is going to turn on, and so the voltage across the output uh, for values of V in exceeding 0.7 volts for silicon diode are just going to be equal to 0.7. Even if the um, input signal continued to increase, what we are going to get is just, uh, more voltage drop across the resistor so that the voltage across the diode will remain at 0.7 volts. And so our output voltage might look something like this for positive values. Basically, I have my, my limit set at 0.7 volts. And then for uh, other values of input signal, the output will just follow the input. So basically, I've clipped my signal at 0.7 volts. If I reverse the orientation of the diode, the opposite things happen. For positive values of V in, the diode is reverse biased, so V in gets transferred to V out. Uh, for negative values of um, V in, then the diode turns on and the maximum voltage across V out becomes, or the, the minimum voltage, becomes negative 0.7 volts. So something like that, clipping at negative 0.7 volts. Uh, on occasions, I may want to have an upper and lower limit. And the way I will do that is by connecting uh, two diodes in parallel. And so during the positive half cycle, the first diode in that uh, combination will basically clip the signal at positive 0.7 volts, as it will turn on as soon as V in exceeds 0.7 volts. And then for negative values of the in, as soon as V in goes uh, below negative 0.7 volts, the second diode will turn on. The first one will be um, reverse bias, but the second one will turn on. And so the output voltage will be limited on the negative side to negative 0.7 volts. So this will be, so we'll have clip, uh, clipping limits of plus minus 0.7 volts. Now, uh, the 0.7 volts may not be the exact voltage level or the exact limit that we want to set for our clipping circuit. And so we can generalize those circuits by essentially adding uh, a bit of an offset to our diodes so that I will get, for example, oops, put that in black as it is part of the circuit. So I could add uh, some kind of DC voltage in series with my diode. I'm going to call this my uh, V V for my bias voltage. Or when I have my other diode, I will have plus minus VV. And in this case, it's just a combination of the two. Um, and just to indicate that they don't have to be necessarily equal to each other, I'm going to make the positive limit equal to VA and the negative limit equal to VB. And so this will be plus minus VA and this will be minus plus VB. And I can draw a parallel set of plots.
were basically my new limits. I have to eliminate that 0.7 and that negative 0.7, and obviously this is not going to be drawn to scale. Um, but my new limits, notice on my positive side, uh, it would be once V in exceeds uh, VA plus 0.7 volts, then is when the diode is going to turn on. And so basically my upper limit will be V in plus VA. Uh, in the second case, the transistor will turn on, or the diode, excuse me, will turn on whenever V in reaches uh, negative VV minus 0.7 volts, so minus VV minus 0.7. Oh, this is VA plus 0.7 here. Negative VV minus 0.7 volts. And in the third case, you basically have uh, both those limits. On the upper limit, we will have VA plus 0.7. In the negative side, you will have negative VV minus 0.7 volts. Uh, you still have the uh, annoyance of that 0.7 volt and the fact that now you need to provide an external voltage. So another common way of implementing uh, passive clipping circuits is with the use of Zener diodes. And uh, the configuration with a Zener diode will look as follows. You're simply replacing uh, the, the diode in the previous case by a Zener. And again, a Zener is a diode that is meant to be operating in the breakdown region. And so notice the change um, in orientation with respect to the first circuit uh, in the passive clipping circuits and the, the, one, the first one with the Zener diode. Uh, and the idea is that there are sinners with different uh, breakdown voltages. Um, and uh, we can see, we can select a sinner, let's say, with a positive breakdown voltage uh, or with a sinner breakdown voltage equal to VA uh, or VZ1, as I've labeled here. And the idea is that whenever V in goes uh, in the positive half cycle, once it reaches the value of VZ1, the sinner will go into a uh, sinner breakdown. So essentially, the voltage will remain constant uh, across the sinner at the Zener uh, voltage value, regardless of further increases in VIN. So we have effectively limited or clipped the VIN signal um, to the level of the Zener voltage. And so my limit will be now set by VC1. And then during the negative half cycle, notice that uh, when the VIN exceeds in the negative half cycle goes below negative 0.7 volts, the Zener diode will become forward biased and it will operate just like a regular diode. So in the negative half cycle, it will be limiting still at uh, negative 0.7 volts. And if I reverse the, the orientation of my Zener diode, the opposite thing will happen. I will be clipping on the positive side at 0.7 volts clipping on the negative side at uh, negative VZ1. Uh, a very common uh, clipping configuration to be able to set the positive and the negative limits is to use two Zener diodes connected, uh, shown in the figure, back-to-back -back Zeners, uh, where basically whenever I have a positive input signal, uh, notice that VC2 uh, or Zener diode 2 is going to become forward biased, so it will have a positive um, 0.7 volts drop across it, and then ideally, if my V in signal exceeds the, the Zener diode VC1 plus 0.7 volts, then it will be clipped at that value because the uh, Zener diode VC1 will turn on, will go into reverse uh, breakdown. And so this will be clipped on the positive side at uh, VZ1 plus 0.7 volts. And on the negative side, the opposite thing will happen. Once um, the input signal goes below VC2 minus 0.7 volts, or negative VC2 minus 0.7 volts, rather, um, then my VC2 will be in a uh, Zener breakdown region, and the VC1 will be forward biased. And so the overall voltage across V out is just going to be negative VZ2 minus 0.7 volts. And so I will have set um, 
my two clipping levels by essentially selecting the right zener diodes with the right uh, right zener voltages. We're going to take a look now at uh, a couple of versions of active clipping circuits. Uh, the first one, it just involves uh, a diode and a resistor, just like before, but we have added an op-amp just to make it an active circuit. Notice the diode is connected in the feedback path of the op-amp. And so we can see um, that for input values that are below the reference voltage, the reference voltage is what I've set uh, the voltage to in my positive input terminal of the op-amp. And whenever V-ing is uh, lower than the reference voltage, uh, uh, what that basically implies is that there is a positive differential voltage across the op-amp, so the uh, op-amp output is going to try to go high, the diode is going to uh, turn on and basically uh, clamp the output voltage to the value of V-ref, because I have that negative feedback path operating there. And so I'm going to have that for V-in values lower than uh, V-ref, let's imagine V-ref is uh, positive, My V out is going to be clamped at the same voltage level of V ref. Now, when V in exceeds the value of V ref, since V in is being applied on the negative input terminal, notice the up pump is going to try to go uh, towards the negative direction. So the, the diode is going to become reverse biased. Uh, the negative feedback loop is going to be broken, and therefore there's nothing dictating that the two input terminals of the up pump need to be sitting at the same voltage. And therefore, uh, basically, V in is just going to get transferred to V out. And so we will have that for uh, voltage levels greater than the reference voltage V ref, the output follows the input, and then it gets clamped or clipped rather on that um, at the V ref level. We could obviously reverse the orientation of the diode, and the opposite thing will happen. The circuit will allow through uh, signal levels that are lower than V ref um, and clip signal levels that are higher than VREF. Uh, another uh, common clipping configuration is via the use of Zener diodes, as in the second circuit. Um, and typically this is to set uh, symmetrical upper and lower limits, even though they wouldn't have to be symmetrical necessarily, if I just choose Zener diodes with different Zener voltages. But notice this is just a um, an inverting amplifier, and so I know my uh, v out is going to be equal to negative Rf over Ri times V in, and so what I am expecting uh, for the relationship between my my voltage transfer characteristic V out versus V in is something with a negative slope, something like that, where V out goes negative for positive values of V in, and it goes positive for negative values of V in with a slope of negative Rf over Ri. But now the addition of the signal diodes is going to imply that whenever the signal, the input signal, goes below uh, a value equal to uh, VC plus uh, diode drop, uh, one of those sinners in the feedback path is going to be forward biased and the other is going to enter the, that uh, reverse uh, breakdown region. Up until that point, I mean within that, uh, that range that I have just drawn, one of the diodes was forward bias, but the other was reverse bias, and so that whole path was like an open circuit. But once the input signal exceeds uh, the the Zener, the value of the Zener breakdown voltage in the negative direction, then one Zener will be forward bias, and the other has entered its Zener breakdown region, and so therefore it allows current through, and so the signal is going to be clamped essentially at Vz plus 0.7 volts. And once V in uh, goes beyond in the positive side, uh, VC plus 0.7 volts, the same thing happens. The, the opposite, the other diode, the one that used to be uh, reverse bias or becomes forward bias, and the one that was forward bias becomes the diode that's operating in the center breakdown region. And so basically you will be uh, clamping that at uh, negative VC plus 0.7. Votes, um, and that will be an example of, uh, or some examples of active clipping circuits. Thank you.